What is going on guys, Garrison here, and I am back with your head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head LiDAR data set comparison. We have the DJI L2, we have the Rock R3 Pro, and we have the Recepi XT32. Um, we flew the same site with the same parameters, same altitude, speed, and overlap, and now we are diving into the raw data that these LiDAR units have produced. Um, first thing we want to talk about is the RGB colorization. I must say the DJI L2 has done a good job with RGB colorization. So L2 gets a thumbs up for me when it comes to RGB colorization. Let's take a look at the R3 Pro. Um, one thing I must say is I am not a fan of the RGB colorization on the R3 Pro. I think they do a, a bad job. Everything bleeds. Um, as you can tell, there's no consistency. Um, I've tried the default rock camera calibration. I've tried to calibrate it myself. And no matter what, it always seems very inconsistent. So R3 Pro gets a thumbs down from me when it comes to RGB colorization. Uh, let's take a look here at the Recepi unit. Um, overall, I must say the Recepi unit does quite a good job with RGB color colorization. Um, you can see here the clear and consistent paint lines. You can see the glass, the, the, gr the grass and the pavement. Uh, guys, I am doing uh, one take throwing this thing out there. I don't do editing or anything. So I'm gonna jumble my words I'm going to mess up a little bit. So apologies there. Um, we're just gonna roll with it So RGB colorization L2 gets a thumbs up R3 Pro gets a thumbs down and the Recepi gets a thumbs up So now we're gonna dive back into the data We're gonna look at the overall noise of the point cloud on flat surfaces. So Looking here at the L2, you have quite a bit of noise down here at the bottom of the main roadway. We're going to dive over to the R3 Pro to that same spot. And look, you have a, a tighter a tighter point cloud. You still got a little bit of noise above and below, but you do overall have a tighter point cloud. Now let's take a look here at the Inertial Labs Recepi XT32. And wow, the Recepi is really stepping it up here. Um, wow very consistent very consistent okay let's go back to the l2 here we're gonna go to the very top of the roadway so there's about a hundred foot elevation difference from top to bottom um the l2 up here at the top it's quite noisy it is indeed quite noisy so we're gonna go to the r3 pro we're gonna go to that same exact spot up here at the top and we are going to so it definitely it seems tighter than the the L2, but there's definitely more scratch noise here than there was at that area we looked at down at the very bottom. Um, now we're gonna check out the Recepi unit up in that same exact spot. So let's take a look here, guys. And wow, the Recepi unit is super tight up here at the top as well. That is something to note. A little bit more consistency so far with the Recepi unit. All right, we're gonna go to the middle of the data set now. Let's go in between these two control points right here in the center. And wow, the L2, you know, you're getting a good bit of spread again. Um, you're getting a good bit of spread. Let's check out that same spot with the R3 Pro, my friends. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, we're going right here. Okay, it, it has been a long day, guys, so sorry if i am off a little bit you know i am not going to be saying all the things perfectly and whatnot but we are rolling with it uh r3 pro looks pretty good here guys r3 pro looks pretty damn oh there's a little bit of scratch below the surface here but overall overall the r3 pro is definitely a lot tighter than the l2 we're gonna take a look at the d the, 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 the inertial labs recepi xt32 mm, okay wow the Recepi unit's looking tight. You're definitely getting a more dense point cloud on the Recepi unit. One thing to note is the Recepi has a 90 degree FOV, um, which is the, the recommended FOV, versus with the Rock unit, you have a 60 degree FOV. So you're just going to be getting a more dense point cloud with the Recepi raw. And I must say, the data looks good there too. So now we're going to we're gonna take a look at this little uh, dirt section up here. This is the DJI L2 new lidar unit uh you've got a good bit of noise here for sure um wow good bit of noise compared to compared to what i'm used to looking at i don't know what kind of data y'all look at but for me that's a lot of noise uh let's take a look here at the rest oh this is the rock robotic r3 pro i'm getting my units mixed up now you've got a pretty good bit of noise here as well which is surprising for the r3 pro you know especially since this is a 
more expensive unit than the L. You definitely have less noise than the L2, but still more noise than what I would expect for a unit at the price point that the R3 Pro was at. We're going to take a look at the Recepi now in that same spot, and we're going to see how the Recepi is looking. Wow, the Recepi is looking really good here, guys. I must say, as far as consistency goes, the Recepi unit is straight killing it. All right, we're going to jump into a little comparison between all of the data sets here um and by the way this is the rock cloud that we are viewing the point cloud on i must say if rock does one thing right it does the uh the cloud right as far as the it's a great point cloud viewer um okay now we're gonna go so the r3 pro is a red color we're gonna go to a single color here on the l2 let's make the l2 maybe a green color and then down here for the recipe unit we're gonna make the recipe unit a blue color so guys let's go down here to the very bottom and let's take a look here okay so you can clearly see there's a lot more 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 noise come on come on come on we can do this we can do this there's a lot more noise with the l2 that's evident um it looks like there's a a, a little bit more noise with the r3 pro than the uh the recipe unit but you know R3 Pro and Recepi unit down there are looking very close. Uh, let's go somewhere here in the middle. Let's take a look. Um, wow, the L2 is actually looking pretty good in this area. So that's one thing with the L2 I've noticed. It's very inconsistent. You'll get really thick areas like right here. Super thick as far as density goes. And then you'll get really thin areas. So not sure what causes the inconsistencies with the L2. Um, but you can see there's actually a good bit of scratch noise with the R3 Pro in this little area. Um, the Recepi unit is, is very consistent. Um, let's go back up to that little dirt area we looked at before, just so we can see how they look, you know, on top of each other. And you can clearly see there's a lot more scratch here from the R3 Pro and the DJI L2. One area I really want to focus on, let's go under the vegetation here, guys, because that is where the recipe and rock unit really shine over the l2 the l2 you get an immense amount of noise underneath vegetation the rock unit too you're getting a little bit of noise the recipe unit is staying extremely consistent guys i am very impressed with this recipe unit um overall though the l2 the 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 amount of noise so even with the rock unit you're getting a little bit more noise uh underneath the surface than i, I would expect um but again, nowhere near compared to the amount of noise you're getting with that um, L2. You're getting a large amount of noise underneath the surface, which is going to make it, you know, more difficult to process. And also, you're going to get more errors there. Um, the Recepi unit is really shining here, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, to me it's not really a comparison i'm gonna have these data sets online for you guys to be able to download and check out for yourself so please let me know what you think in the comments down below um i really appreciate you guys for tuning in you know it means a lot i got a lot more stuff coming out i had i flew a couple more sites with all three units so we're gonna be doing some more comparisons i'm gonna be uh coming out with some you know statistics analytics graphs charts we're gonna dive really deep into this thing i have just been swamped with work and life so as soon as i can uh as soon as I can put some time aside uh, for this additional content creation, I'm going to have some more data coming for you guys real soon. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Peace.